Howdy, I'm back and thanks for joining me for another one of these videos. As the kids say, please like and subscribe. And if you don't like, then please. But anyway, it is terrific. And I'm here to do another one of these asterisk sun tup unboxings. Uh, as you might have seen or you might not have seen, sun tup recently sold some dinged copies of Wolfen AE uh, Artist Editions. And uh, the first batch was dinged, unsigned Wolfen Artists Editions, and I think they were around 45 bucks. And I jumped on it and bought it. The reason I jumped on it and bought it was because I, I did buy uh, pre ordered from uh, somebody else, bought their pre order a copy of uh, Wolfen Numbered Edition. I thought it looked phenomenal. And for a long time, the artist editions went uh, on with, with they weren't sold out on Suntup's website. And I kept putting it off and putting it off. And finally, when I said I ought to go buy one, they had already sold them out. Way it goes. Now there's other publishers right now. I believe Subterranean Press, at least a few minutes ago, had some available at around 145 bucks. And uh, probably pending the outcome of this dinged copy unboxing in a few minutes i may go buy one of theirs we'll see how it goes i'm not completely a perfectionist but i'm kind of close to a perfectionist uh i can't i don't like stuff that's too beat up but i can handle just a little bit so we'll see how it goes this one like i said was advertised as dinged and i uh, pretty sure they said unsigned so i don't know if that means no signature at all or uh, no signature page at all I assume it means no signature, but it may be no signature page. So we'll see what that means anyway. Now, later they did sell dinged copies for a little bit more that were signed. At least they didn't say it was not unsigned. Um, but anyway, I bought I bought what I bought, and we'll see. It came in today. As usual, SunTup shipping is prompt and quick, and you get it faster than you think you ought to. came in today. The post office said it'll come in in two days from now, and here it is today. Um, but a little bit about Wolfen. Uh, I know Suntup took a long time to sell out a lot of their wolf and stuff. And um, some people are lukewarm on the book. Some people are lukewarm on the movie. And I think, in my opinion, I think part of that is uh, based on the fact that you don't get what you're usually sold. A lot of times people come into Wolf and they say, hey, what's a good uh, werewolf book? Or what's a good werewolf movie in terms of the movie and when you read the book or watch the movie what you end up getting is not a werewolf book or a werewolf movie in fact it's uh it's more of a detective noir and um supernatural horror kind of combined in there so that you get something that's very different than what you're probably expecting and I think that might hurt it because just like anything else, if your expectations are, are different than what you're actually given, it often leads to disappointment. If I say to somebody, what's the, I want a really good cheeseburger and what's the best cheeseburger place in town? And they send me to Roseanne Bar or Roseanne's Loose Meat Sandwich Emporium, what have you. And I go in there and I got, or get a, a loose meat sandwich and not a cheeseburger, probably gonna be disappointed. I wanted a cheeseburger, I got a loose meat sandwich. No matter how good that sandwich is, it's not what I wanted. Anyway, I think that might happen. Um, a little bit about Wolfen. Uh, I don't want to spoil, give spoilers. But uh, essentially you have a, a 70s era New York, uh, New York City. Um, some grisly murders. And you have a couple of cops. A male and a female. And a guy and a girl. Boy and a girl. Man and woman. Uh, cops. Partners trying to solve these crimes, and they've got a theory about the Wolfen. And of course, in, uh, uh, when you come up with a theory like that, a lot of folks are going to be—they're—they're uh, they're not going to—they're uh, not going to buy it. They're going to think it's ridiculous. And there's uh, there's kind of some underlying romantic stuff going on between the 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 partners there as they're trying to to solve these murders. They have the theory, which turns out to be pretty correct um anyway i don't want to give too much of what it actually is but when you think when i think of a werewolf i think of uh, a person who's bitten by a werewolf or somehow cursed to be a werewolf 
when a full moon comes, they turn into half man, half wolf beast monster thing, walking on two feet, biting others and killing others. And uh, that's what I think of. And that's not what you get in this book. It's more of a book about, uh, like I said, um, New York City trying to solve grisly murders. Uh, and the werewolves are not werewolves. They're something somewhat different. Um, so it's not, it's not a true fool. It's not some guy dressed up as whatever. So don't be thinking it's anything like that. It's supernatural, but it's not the, the stereotypical werewolves. Now, the movie is a little bit different, but, but somewhat similar. Albert Finney, 1980s, 81, 82, early 80s. Albert Finney, I like the movie, but I also kind of scratched my head at parts of the movie too. I like the movie, um, but he is this ragged, slouchy cop. I always wondered why is, why is a cop always wearing a hoodie and jogging pants? I didn't think that was possible. Uh, slouchy cop, he's got a theory that he's developing with the murders. And um, again, he figures it out, but people don't really buy into his, his, uh, his theory. Uh, one of the neat things about the book that a lot of people talked about, or a lot of people tend to like, is the, the changing in perspective, where you're, you're getting some of the, the POV point of view from the, from the wolfen, and that also kind of is in the movie, although it's visual instead of reading about it. But um, anyway, the, the wolfen, I liked it a lot. I liked the, I liked the book. I think I like it better than its Goodreads rating would indicate. And um, again, when I read it, I was told werewolf, but I uh, I liked it. it. It worked for me, and and it didn't disappoint me. Although it was different than what I what I uh, pictured, I really don't have this strong walls that everything has to fit within. I kind of allow for some some gray area stuff and it worked for me. So let's get on to it. I bought this dinged copy and as you see, Sun Tuff's packaging with their dinged copies is different than their typical packaging with their undinged copies. Uh, so we'll see what we get. Usually it's a, a box like this, the book's wrapped in bubble wrap and um, that's how it goes. So one of the things I see right off the bat, I hope for the best again. I Stuff like that does worry me. Uh, well, I have extra dings that weren't there when it was shipped. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's open it up and see what we get. In fact, I might not need Mr. Benchmade after all. Tear here. If you can follow instructions, maybe you can open a box. Following instructions. Um, I don't think people are usually rated highly on following instructions. That may be one of the common complaints against us as people, not following instructions well. But anyway, I open up my box, books wrapped in a bubble mailer, just like I, uh, just like I predicted, because I have bought a dinged, I've gotten a couple of dinged copies in the mail from the mail lady. It's been a mailman lately, I hope my mail lady's all right. She was cool. Anyway, let's see what we got. Right off the bat, it looks like my slipcase made it without getting beaten up. Can you, uh, can you confirm that for me? If I make any mistakes, it's your fault because I asked you to confirm it for me. How's that looking? The, uh, maybe the slightest bit of mush. I can't really tell on the back side. Anyway, that's... Uh, that's my slip case. Now my dust jacket has got a little bit of folding there and folding there. We, um, when these books first came out, some of the, can you see that? Some of the people were complaining about their dust jackets being damaged and Mr. Suntup was promptly replacing them. And what they were saying was that the book itself wasn't damaged it was just the dust jackets. And maybe the theory was that the slip case being a little tighter or not fitting as well might have been the culprit. But it looks like at a glance, my book is not beaten up. It doesn't look beaten up at a at first glance. That's upside down. How can you read upside down unless you got upside down brains? 
but the the cover feels good i like the slash marks you've probably already seen all this i don't see damage to corners damage to the book in any way the dust jacket had a little bit of scuffage on it which i, I kind of suspected might have been the case um, a lot of folks were getting their dust jackets replaced and i figured i might have one of the scuffed jackets in my dinged copy and i i'm looking now to see if there was a signature page inserted at all in here so far i'm not seeing one they they said it was unsigned so that was one of the things i wondered am i missing a signature page or is it just a signature page with no signature so i don't see a signature page at all uh, which might be better Having an unsigned signature page might be worse than a no signature page at all. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, this book, one of the things that people loved about this edition, this edition was the artwork from Francois Villancourt. Is that how you say his name? I see his name a lot. I don't hear his name very often. I see his work a lot, but phenomenal. That's, uh, I think... There's a lot of folks bought this book that didn't really love the book or weren't really excited about the book, but they loved this artwork. Phenomenal, unbelievable. Um, and they did an artist uh, artist portfolio edition just to uh, just to um, just to show off this artwork. I got a little notification on my phone. I had to address there. That's why my finger got so big and crooked all of a sudden. Let's see if I can find any other pictures real quick without spending a lot of time hunting for them. But doggone it, the pictures kind of tell you why it's not a werewolf, true werewolf story. So spoiler alert, too late now. The pictures show wolves, but it's not really wolves either. So spoilers, sorry. I don't know how, uh, how strict you are with spoilers, but these, uh, this artwork here kind of spoils it. And man, it looks good. So I got, uh, is that the same as that? That's the back, the, 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 the end papers are the same as the front papers. However that works out. So that's what I got. I got a, a dinged copy, unsigned, no signature page, which I probably prefer to an unsigned signature page. I got a little bit of uh, rough edges on the dust jacket which I'm not, uh, I don't have a problem with because it's not very bad. I've got worse. I've got worse in some cases on these shelves. I'm going to put it in a Brodart just to fold uh, dust jacket protector gimmick and call it good. But there's my book. And I may pass on the Subterranean Press $145 sale of, of this artist edition. So there's more for you. Uh, so again, like the kids say, uh, please like and subscribe. And um, I can't think of any other lies to tell. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Anyway, say la vie, baby. Hasta la vista. I'm out.